Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to War Game. We're in Ashen Shadows, it's episode 8, and we're immediately jumping into a fight. What we have going on here is the map of Sok Cho. We're looking at the zone Chun Chon, that's going to be ours. They have Delta, Echo, Wanjo, and Wonsan. So they have a lot of potential income, especially if they combine these two with their plus one. They have a plus ten. Fortunately, they don't have too many command vehicles, so I might be able to hunt them down and eliminate this, uh, I think it's a security regiment, as quickly as possible. Majority of the forces commits or consists of Yukwa Day. These are not too much of a threat, there's just 48 of them. Um, they do, however, come with an AA weapon, this trail of three. Aside from that, we have a whole bunch of SU-100s. Lethal, if they're sitting still, against both infantry and armor but not so much of a threat if they are driving, because they don't have a stabilizer. Unfortunately, they're very blind. The only two spotters they have are the UAZs and, of course, potentially the Yukwidae, but even their optics are medium. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, there is one thing I'm slightly concerned about, and that's the aircraft, mostly the SU-25K and the J-16s to some extent. These things come with a 1,000 kilogram bomb. Um, or is it? What is that even? The TG-1000. It's not a 1000 kilogram bomb because this thing has 22 HE. Fire and forget. With a range of almost 5 clicks. That means that neither of my AA weapons will be in range. I just hope the AI doesn't know how to use these. <clears throat> Alright. My battle group consists mostly of the tanks. The K2 pips. Uh, I do have a couple of spotters. I have some infantry, but my infantry generally isn't that good. I do, however, have a fob, and I have scorpions. And this will allow me to quickly chew through the Yukwude, especially faster once they've been forced out of their BTRs. So, hold up and chon chon. Um, try and capture Delta as quickly as possible. Hold Delta down, bring in more K2s, and start pushing back towards one zone. All the while, of course, not getting shot at by those SU-100s. If I can at all afford that. Uh, let's see, where are we going to hold up? I'd say about here. Deploy some units on this particular tree line here. I'm going to still go with a couple of hardens. I don't have any uh, rookies or... Uh, what's the medium version? I don't even know. Um, veteran? No, Veteran is 4. Elite's 5. Oh well, I don't have any rookies anymore. Uh, trained, that's the number two. Okay, so we're going to have two K2s there. I'll have an E-Lint for security. And I am concerned that they might all spawn in Delta. The AI has a nasty tendency to do that. Let's have a small security force. Well, small-ish. Try to go after the units out there. I also want to have a Biho in here and a Pegasus. It's really all I can afford at the moment. Just gonna have to make do with this. I might not have spawned here. Next spawn for me is probably going to be a command tank. This is a critical part. That's SU 100s right there. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Okay, so far, I was able to take down at least two of them, but they have a whole lot more. Fortunately, these things are pretty one-shottable. If that's a thing. Even the uh, Elands should have a pretty easy time going through them. Oh, these things are firing, though. Hit them. Look at that. That's a hit from an SU-100. Another one's firing. These transport those are transports, those are not too much of a threat. Let's bring in a couple scorpions. Shit, they took down a K2. That's one of those last surviving SU-25s. I might be able to shoot it down with a missile. Come on, Pegasus. And it survived. Okay, so we lost one K2 and the other one's taken some damage. Let's have the Eland back here. And I brought in one whole scorpion. Jeez, those things are expensive. One whole scorpion to allow me to deal bit uh, a biddle. <laughs> Jesus, sorry, it's late. A little bit more effectively 
with the Yukwadei should they come out to play. Which I still really hope that they do. There's the transports. Yep, definitely out here to play. Time to use that grenade launcher. Your anti-tank range is pretty dreadful. I believe 500 meters out. So that shouldn't be too much of a threat. These guys only have KP SAMs and some short-range anti-infantry weapons. They're not really going to be too useful. Alright, you've been fixed. Let's move you back up. We'll have the infantry offload here. Maybe we can intercept that aircraft. If one of those SU-25s decide to come out again. Yukudays are trying to get a launch off. Not really succeeding there. Hold. 100 points. I still need a few more for another K2. And for command tank, I need 115. This thing chews through its ammo like crazy. Yep, command tank can be bought. Alright, let's get it in. Push up the AA infantry. What are these? SUs. Get the scorpions out of here. Get my reconnaissance here. Miss. Hold on, I want you here. I need the firepower that the K2 pip can provide. The one thing I have going for me is optics. They don't have them. And I do. And aside from that, I have accuracy and you don't. There goes your SU-100. Uh, they started out with a good number of them. I took down a bunch down here. But not so many that I think they're out of them. See, there's another one. Potentially more. Line of sight. Established. Firing. Missed. Actually, no, it didn't even miss. It didn't even fire. Come on, get him. Gotcha. Angle here. Command tank slowly moving up. <coughs> How are these guys doing? Oh, they're fine. Let's move up a little bit. Come on. All I need you to do is get into range and we'll take care of the rest. Hit. That thing might have been trying to target. Move up a little. Hit. Next. Come on. Hit. Are you <clears throat> another SU-100? There's plenty of those things to go around, that's for sure. Another point for plus 45. They still have a good number of these things, and so far they're only awarding me 45 points each, which I mean it isn't bad, but it means I might have to go through more SU-100s than they can feed me. Hang on, where are you going? Are your lo your logi trucks? Your logi trucks. Okay. All right, captured. That's a plus seven. I might go for Echo as well. It's another plus two. It means that it's going to take me seventy. No, sorry. Um, about about sixty ticks to get that points in return. No, I think the better option here is to go for another tank, another K two. Get you moving. Actually, I'm going to keep this particular K2 up here. Just as defensive unit. Hold on. This one's trying to fire. And hitting. Not taking any chances with my K2s, especially if they're getting themselves trained up. And since we already have another one coming up. We might be able to use that one. 
Hold on, what's that? That's a plus six. I don't like the fact that my command tank has to start firing and defending itself like that. <clears throat> that is really not what I had in mind. I also fired some machine gun. Okay. What do we have here? Holy crap. Eight more of those things. Get your ass fixed. Well, not your ass, but the whole thing. And it seems like we have some further volunteers, but these are logistics trucks. What is this? Transports? What are they f Oh, they're firing at the infantry. Huh. There's the SU again. Oh no. Crap. Can we kill that thing? See, we're doing damage to it, but not fast enough. Damn. I only have some AA weapons left. Not a whole lot of them. Oh, hello. Not sure when exactly I captured you, but I can make do. They still have to go through about... 500 points. That would be 12 of the SU-100s. That's a logistics truck, I think. Let's get another tank. What was that? That was another 45-point unit. Another tank destroyer, I'm assuming. And there's the SU-100 once again. Sorry, the SU-25. And we got him. Plus 105 points. And yes, for the super observant of you, it said Bliat. Not really sure what the game means with that. Not really sure what it's trying to tell me. Oh, there's another one. It's one of those J-16s. Missiles out. Got them. That is expensive. And not particularly lethal, fortunately. That ah, could have been a lot worse. Okay, so now I'm getting some points. Now I'm getting some points. Let's get some more infantry deployed around this hill. Especially the AA variety. So they seem to be coming in from one Jew. Hold on, I might be able to make use of that. Um, I want you to take a very particular drive. I want you to go right down here. Because the moment I go through that town... I'm very nervous about all the ATGM, sorry, not the ATGMs, but the AP that they can fire at me. Short range AP, but AP nonetheless. Let's go all these Logi trucks into formation. Good kill, that's another 45. I don't need much. If I can get a command, oh, command vehicle, that would be wonderful. You boys, get moving. Scorpions, this way, please. I think they're getting intermittent views on that K2 over there. Not so intermittent now. Okay. See, the smoke screens work. And I'm pretty fast. Holy crap! Looks like they deployed all of their transports here. Okay. More glide bombs. These things are getting annoying. We have to get this tank into cover. No! Don't go there, don't go there. I appreciate the fact that you're... ...not taking damage. That's not quite what I was going to say. But I'll take it. This, this scorpion is taking out transports. Interesting. They have a 1.5... Ah, they don't have an HE val sorry, AP value. These things are purely kinetic. Sorry, no, purely HE. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't damage my scorpions. That means that I might have so much transport real estate over here. That I can easily kill it. 
There is one problem. The air strike. I didn't kill you? Okay. I like that. Oh, sorry, you, they can hit. Get back in. That was sloppy. Two more transports. One more transport. And we got this. There we are. Okay, so we lost what? Two tanks? One tank? Two tanks to the SU-25. However, did that SU-25 survive? I believe not. Nope, there's one of them left. Uh, let's see if I shot it down. No, I shot down the other one. I shot down Hay. Um, and Sun Ha apparently survived. I also scored some other air kills. There, the J-16. And is that the only one? That's the only one. More importantly, the security regiment's been destroyed. So that should allow me to more easily maneuver around with these battle groups. And considering that the anti-tank company does not have a command vehicle, I'm not really worried about them. The next thing that's coming in is this, another security regiment. Anyway, uh, whilst we are waiting for the Canadians and the Anzacs, the, first, the, sorry, the fact that the first European and Japanese reinforcements have arrived already proves that we are being supported by the international community. Gain 50 political points. Now I'm rich. Now I'm really rich. I can call in uh, further units from the Foch, from the Arc Royal, from uh, Escort Flotilla 4. Um, I also have the 9th Bima, RICMs. What were you supposed to be? A Marine group? Yeah, Marine Battle Group. Um, hold on, I don't want to buy you just yet. What do we get? 30 Rima with a pretty damn good anti-tank weapon. Range is a bit short, but so be it. Commander Marines, again, heavy tag, 15-man squad, elite troops, very good. A couple of ATGMs, VBL Mistrals, ERC-90s, and some of those Durigs with the Brahmos, as well as some more landing troops. Okay. This armor group, yeah, I'm still not going to buy it. For 50 points, it's a waste of my points. Anyway, let's see what the current scenario is, so I can see what I might need for that. What we have over here is nine Nox frigates and a couple of how by very long range, very dangerous ships. If I am going to engage that group with the already weakened Foch, or Foch, um, I'm probably going to have to make use of, where are they? These, the tram intruders. We can snipe at least a few of them. Also, um, I want this naval sector back. It is another three points per turn. It's not terribly much, but every bit helps. I could also call in Arc Royal. Arc Royal comes with Type 26, which have very long-range anti-ship missiles. Nine and a half clicks. I'm not too big of a fan of the LRSM, or LRASM. They are very slow. And while they hit hard at 80 AP, the slowness makes them easy to intercept. Um, it's 30 points. I'm going to have to call in this battle group anyway. Simply because I need the marines that are on the Ark Royal. Okay, so that's one. That's Chun Chun. Let's have a look at that. What do we have here? A infantry regiment. Which has been heavily knocked on its ass already. Uh, I'm not too sure that they can stand up against my forces for too long. Especially if I put up some choke points there, there, and there. These guys are going to be dead very soon. Um, right. The problem that I have with these battle groups here, and in a way the one over here, is that I don't really have the liberty of resupplying them, refitting them. Even if I wanted to, I just don't have the supplies, or don't have the means to do it. Um, <clears throat> I can go into Tonchon, that has a port, and that I can refit. Right there. But, it's the same issue. If I'm going to have to 
fight my way in. I'm going to have to do it with absolutely everything that I have. Um, I might, however, be able to drop a couple of helo groups into Pyongyang. Let's see what helo, helo groups I have available. I have the Special Aviation Battalion. Uh, there's not terribly much left of those. A Helicopter Attack Squadron. And I can just move these guys up. I also have all those Japanese forces. That's 24 Kutai. A couple of Stingers. Some Chumats. Mitsubishi Elians. Hachi Kiyu Shikai. 40mm Autocannon and APS. Uh, a Fire and Forget. Top attacking HGM. Lots of frontal armor. That's nice. What else can they airdrop? They can airdrop further Kutai. AA systems, more reconnaissance, and I have a FOB and a bunch of uh, Fuso cargo trucks. If I were to go directly into Pyongyang, that would put me up against a lot of armor. Chan Maho 90, or sorry, Chan Man 90. Not a lot of frontal armor. Pretty high AP for 25 points. The Chan Man 98 are even worse. Uh, what else? T-72s and T-90s's. Bochongzu and Bantank Fagot. And that's the ground forces. Oh, never mind. They still have Shulka and Spag. Aside from that, looking at J-16s, that's those uh, dangerous long-range glide bombs. They have the Su-30 MKV anti-tank, MiG-23s, and the A-5-1s, or the A-5-I's, my bad. The A-5-I's, cluster bombs. If I were to drop in on them, uninvited, I would probably start out an X-ray. That would mean that I do not have reinforcements. If I would, however, capture Ong Jin and then go into Pyongyang, I would probably start with a sector. So I could call in further reinforcements. But they're going to come at me with a lot of units. And I really only have infantry to start with. So I could probably do it. But it's going to be a hell of a fight. Um, I really only get one shot at this. I get one shot to make up my mind. I mean, I can provide my own air support. I have the F-14s, I have Super Hornets. They have quite a bit of AA, though. And I don't have any ground attack aircraft. I could get the Bongays, sorry, Bionge, 1,000 kilogram bombs. Peace Pheasants. I am, however, not sure if they have the range. They have five initiative. These aircraft have seven. One, two... Yeah, I need seven initiative points in order to make them effective. So I think I'm going to have to wait one turn for these additional units to become available. Okay, that means that everybody who is in here just R&R for a bit. I'm going to build up your cohesion as much as possible. And then we're going to hit them with everything that we have in these zones. We're going to push everything north. Uh, there was one further group that I was thinking of using. That's the Patriots. I'm not sure where their aircraft are heading. Now, let's see. If I go to Chunchon, I can go to Kaesong, and then all the way to Thaechon. If I go with the naval forces, I'm first going to capture that one, then push into Sonchon. So I'm going to put pressure on two different areas. Uh, I don't want to put too many forces over here, from Seoul to Ongjin. So I'm going to go to Kaesong. I don't really need the Patriots here right now. But they could be useful eventually. Other unit that I have is the Mechanized Infantry Regiments. A whole load of Yebiguns. Mm, I'm not really sure what to think of the Yebigun. They're militia. But they do have the Metis M. As well as the... 
What is that even? A 20 AP M79A1 Osa. Come on, show me that weapon. A law. So they come with an HGM and a law. Makes them very good against enemy infantry. Sorry, against enemy armor. Not so good against enemy infantry. Other than that, searching 75. The uh, recruitless rifle troops. Bake Ho. This is an A. I was going to say AA team. An elite training AA team. Okay. With a heavy tag. They have some really weird units in here. Eight Atacams. Because you can never snipe too much stuff from 105 kilometers away. Um, let's send those to Chonchon. They still have initiatives. So they can immediately join the fight. Alright, Naval Sector Bravo first. This is uh, <laughs> pretty much the most boring part. I'm going to try and snipe as many of those Noxes as possible. Before they go from Nox to Obnoxious. Okay, that was terrible. Okay. Now, last time around, we saw that they have a lot of those Noxes and that they are quite dangerous. My ships, these Duriks, still outrange them. But the problem is, they tend to run out of ammo fairly quickly. And if that happens, then I still have two LCUs to resupply them with. But that is not a whole lot. Also, the Veers, one, two, one veteran. That's all I can field. I'll have a couple of these Panthers for reconnaissance duties. Uh, one and one. And then all the tram intruders that I can... Oh, never mind. <coughs> I'll take tram intruders over panthers any day. There we go. Okay, let's group these guys up. You're group one, you're group two. Speed very fast. I had flank. Let's have a look at Echo and Naval Sector Alpha. Noxes are the primary target. There's one already. They start out with, I think, nine of those ships. Splash one. It's mostly the Haubais that I'm concerned with, because they are pretty hard to spot. The only thing that you're going to spot from them, there we go, are their missiles. That's big enough to be a Nox. I can definitely snipe a few before they become a problem. I'm just not sure if I can snipe two of them at the same time. Let's try. I hope that they don't have too many escorts yet. Jeez, they're definitely coming out in numbers. Missiles out. One knocks hit, one dead. Hit, dead. Okay, so that's three of the nine knock ships down. I still cannot afford to take too many losses because my morale is terrible. Uh, what's your range against helos again? 2800. Your range is 4000. Apparently, my cohesion is also very bad. I'm only getting a plus one. And it seems that we have some obstacles in the way here. Crap, I don't want to move all of them away. What is the range in these things? Fierce, disable the Onyx. Durgs, disable your Brahmos. There's another Nox. Where are you guys going? Not a valid target. To change your opinion on that. Shadow those Noxes on the left. I need to know where they're going. That's pretty critical. Okay, oh, here come the Haubais. Weapons free. Weapons free. 
Switch to normal. Veers, open fire. Holy crap! That's a lot of missiles. Oh my god. Well, we're thinning them out. Wow. I think we got most of them. Returning fire. They were all clumped up. So we splashed most of them. Come on. Why are these ships Dutch? They have Dutch names. Or well, at least some of them do. And there goes another Hobai. This worked out a lot better than I thought. I thought we were gone. Didn't lose a single ship, though. Interesting. So the Crotals, as well as the Seawiz and these boats, are fantastic. The Veers with their Dardos also helped out a little bit. Although they were a little bit too far to be actually useful. Ah, oh, crap, here come the Noxes. There's things out of here. I can still snipe a few of them. I need the Panthers to keep an eye on them. <coughs> You're getting awfully close. Five clicks out. And somebody's starting to fire. Missiles out on the lead Durg over here. And he's dead. That's a problem. Let's get over here then. Keep out of range. Try not to get your ass blown up. I can only hope that those Noxes cannot see me. That the aircraft continue to get ready. So far so good. Aircraft are almost up. LCUs, take the rear line. Durgs and Veers, line up. Get ready for a fight. Come on, quickly. Aircraft are almost up. I can snipe three, maybe even four of them at the same time. If I play my cards right. Hold. One jet ready. Two. Come on. Now is as good a time as ever. Missiles out. Fears. Weapons off. Weapons free. Splash one knocks. Try not to get yourself blown up in the process of launching your missiles. That would put great shame to the French Navy. Okay, so we can probably sink one and two. If all goes to plan. And then they only have that one left. And I still have two tram intruders standing by. Come on. They don't have line of sight. Oh, there we go. Now they do. One down. And... Missiles incoming. Close enough for you. Somehow we splashed it, I think. It's down. Good. By my count, that means that they only have one knock left. Let's go and find it. Although I have a pretty good idea where it's hiding. Naval Sector Alpha. Come out here. Hello. I'm gonna try and nail this thing from two different angles so that its seawiz is too distracted to go for the missiles. Here it goes. Well, it's not really as much as a spread attack as I was hoping. There we go. Okay, so we lost one ship. They lost all of them. All the Noxes are now dead. That's a sight to behold. And once again, that helicopter group is on the run. Doesn't, however, really have anywhere to run to. 
Now, this gives me options. Because right now I can instantly attack King Dao. And it's only turn 4. These Chinese would wish that they never got involved. Uh, it's a 20 point group. What else can we get? The Recce, SAS, Wildcat, Wildcat, Martlet. I'm gonna need the French. The um, 21st Rima. Uh, the, t the RICM. Oh, right, that's the uh, ERC 90s. The uh, couple of sports ships. I'll take that. I'm hesitant to take the Rama. That's eight Caesars. One. Come on. One Type 31. And four more Caesars. But they don't have support. They don't have supplies. No logistics. Nothing. So that is a bit weird. Alright, I'm going to call them in anyway. For this reason. See, I cannot engage in Evil Sector Alpha. But this guy is already on the run. I don't need the Caesars. But I can do this. <laughs> what do you mean cheesy? That worked like a charm. Alright. Uh, I'm going to stop the episode recording here. Next episode we're going to hit King Dao. And we're going to hit it with mostly French and British forces. Maybe some air support if I can muster it from the mainland. But I don't... Oh, they can reach that. Okay. We're going to get support from the mainland. But more of that next episode. Let me know what you think of it so far. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, I definitely am because you're getting so many different units, and you have to, well, you have to play the game a bit different. And I really enjoy that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series, and I'll see you soon for the next episode.